Breath of Summer now upon us. So is your worst case of bad breath as we welcome in the summer food season. Onions, sugary treats, dips, alcohol, and other breath offending foods can leave you standing in the corner alone, falsely thinking that mint gum will help you while the summer fun goes all around you. America's Brad Breath doctor and founder of the California Breath Clinics, Dr. Harold Katz, is here to help. He joins us now with expert advice for the lasting clean breath this summer. And beyond, Doctor, how are you? I'm great. I woke up without morning breath. Oh my gosh, you have to tell us your secret. <laughs> okay, I'll leave that to the end. <laughs> but when we're talking about things we're eating, what should we avoid this summer and then tell us why? Well, you know, July 4th is Friday. People will be barbecuing, and many of the foods at the barbecue are notorious for creating bad breath. Uh, we have at the very end there, we've got beer, we've got alcoholic beverages. Alcohol makes the mouth dry. Dry mouth is one of the leading causes of bad breath. That's because saliva is nature's gift to us. Babies always have delicious breath. They drool all over the place. Saliva has oxygen compounds in it. Those are the natural enemies of the bacteria which actually create the strong odors that we smell. Okay. The more saliva you have, the wetter your mouth, the fresher your breath. So drinking alcoholic beverages maybe gives you a bit of a buzz, but it also give you bad breath. Oh. Now we have onions and garlic. Onions and garlic already contain sulfur compounds that the same things the bacteria produce. Uh, you have things like hydrogen sulfide and all those sorts of nasty things are coming from natural foods like onions and garlic. People put them on hamburgers to taste right. really good. Mm. It's going to be a problem. Garlic especially, the odorous garlic molecule is extremely tiny. Once you swallow it, it even gets into your bloodstream and you sweat the garlic. So we'll give you a tip how to get rid of that. Soon. Oh my goodness, okay. Barbecue sauce has sugar in it, also onions and garlic. Sort of uh, be a little uh, cautious with the barbecue sauce. And cheese. More than half the population is lactose intolerant. The dairy proteins uh, in cheese and other food items are the fuel by which the bacteria create odors. They actually chop up the amino acids, extract sulfur, and then create things like the hydrogen sulfide. Another chemical they produce is called cadaverine. Another is called putrescine. And not my sister-in-law's name. <laughs> <laughs> it's the smell of rotting flesh. That's what you smell in bad breath. I'm sorry, can you repeat the, that the again? The smell of so rotting flesh. That's what bad breath smell smells. Yeah, because what happens, flesh. the bacteria in your mouth, these are good bacteria, they are put there for a reason, it's to break down proteins. If you have too many proteins, such as these diets, which are very high in proteins, that will give you bad breath, as well as eating uh, too many dairy foods and meats and things like that. Mm -hmm. So one of the problems with bad breath is people don't know what they should eat in order to keep their breath fresh. Right. Number one tip drink more water. You have to make sure you keep your mouth as hydrated as possible, especially in Tucson. Yes. Uh, the more water you drink, the better off you're going to be for health-wise and breath-wise. A lot of fruits and vegetables have a lot of liquid in them. Uh, we love blueberries. They're fantastic. They have antioxidants in them. Strawberries are good. Celery is good. All of that that keeps your mouth really moist. Now, in our clinics, we created a formula called TheraBreath, which has oxygen compounds in it, and these are available at Walmart and Target and Walgreens. They mimic healthy saliva. It's okay. all natural, and it keeps your breath fresh for over 12 hours. And as far as the morning breath is concerned, if you use this before you go to sleep at night, the mouthwash and toothpaste, you'll wake up in the morning with fresh breath, and things may happen. Mm -hmm. I'm not reliable for this. Okay. <laughs> now, I brought along the machine that we use in our clinic. It's called a halimeter. Okay. And this is how you determine if someone has bad breath or not. So who wants to get tested? Hey, yeah, Zach I'll, I'll yeah, okay. This is as hazing yeah. as okay. a guest right. coach. All you have to do, I'll, yeah. I'll switch spots with you. Okay. okay. All you do, stick your go. tongue like this. Here's what you do. Uh, yeah, stick your tongue out uh, and hold your breath. Anything above 100 means your breath sucks. <laughs> That's a technical term. Call it, you're right, your breath sucks. Okay, let's take a look here at your number. They, they teach you that in dental school, about the breath sucking? You had 70. You weren't bad. There we go. 70. You, you weren't bad. Nice. Now, one thing I noticed, your tongue's a little discolored. It's not pink. Okay. Not and that's good. because people who talk a lot during the day may have that issue where the mouth becomes dry. So make sure you drink plenty of water. Now, if you were to take an onion, for example, mm -hmm. and eat that, that might you know, shoot your score up sure. to 200 or so. So, uh, in fact, let me show you how that works. Here's an onion. Ooh. Wow, you just bit wow, into that, that thing like it wasn't even an onion. That just I haven't happened. had breakfast. I love onions. So your your breakfast of choice is an onion. Here you want me to? Uh huh. Oh look at oh that. Oh my gosh. I don't even. It was oh, three hundred or my. Wow. Just, yeah, that's bad. This is this is some that's of the bad. mouthwash. I'm gonna get rid of this so I can. Okay, okay I want to try because yeah, I yeah, actually right. before every show, I take I take a uh, breath mint. So and we we okay. said that like breath mints really don't help. So I want right. to see. Let's just see what I score here after I've used that. Okay. We're gonna see the. And we got to keep it down so that uh, they can zoom in on it. And it brought it way down. It's still on the high side, but it, it's cut it in half. Yeah, because now and you're at, at 130. And it's, and it's dropping. Yeah, it's dropping. Yeah, it's okay, dropping. Okay, let's see how you do here. Okay. 
All right, moment of truth, Amanda. Here it is. Drum roll, please. Now, if the breath mint has sugar in it, you've got a problem. Sugar feeds the bacteria. Oh, and oh. breath mints have sugar in it, right? A lot right? of them do. Yeah, so let's do that. Ready? Stick your tongue out and hold your breath. I'll read the numbers. Yeah. Uh, 53, 50, oh. 60. You're in the 60s. Oh. Great. So oh. You're, you're really good for you. Okay, so let's let's talk about what can people do if they're in like a clutch situation. Yes. Like you're at a barbecue party and there's a cutie there, but you've indulged in yeah. barbecue sauce and you've and indulged in garlic and alcohol, alcohol and okay, things. Okay, if you have alcoholic beverages or even coffee or even a cigarette, yeah. sip some water immediately. Okay. That will stop the chemical process right right in its tracks. Now you need to keep on drinking the water and don't go back to the smelly foods. Uh, again, the fruits like uh, blueberries, strawberries, and apple, even just bite into that, keep your mouth moist. We actually have uh, lozenges called uh, you know, mouth wetting lozenges. You can try some of these. They actually taste pretty good. Oh, one of those. Go. And they have xylitol in it, which is an okay. antimicrobial. It's a natural uh, sugar, but it's not like sucrose. It won't cause tooth decay. Ooh, that's it won't good, too. Yeah, those are good. <laughs> yeah. In fact, what I'd like to do for your listeners, or for your viewers, if they yeah. want some free samples, uh, I'll send them out because I love Tucson. Uh, call my office. It's 800 557 6960. 800 557 6960. We'll send some free samples of this and the copy of my book, The Bad Breath Bible, yeah. which does come in Old and New Testament. We don't want to offend that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Excellent. Well, this was very enlightening and eye opening at the same time, Congrats. Doctor. I mean, you guys have really good breath. I've good. tested Barbara Walters. She has good breath as well. Does so. she? All right. Yeah. We're right up there with Barbara Walters. Good day. Doctor, thank you so much for joining well, us. Thank you. This thank morning. you. And timely with the holiday right around the corners. And you can learn more on his website. It's drcats.com. Still ahead on the morning blend, we'll show you how to make some grilled fruit with a honey yogurt dressing. And coming up right after the break, we'll find out how you can make sure this little guy doesn't take off during the 4th of July.